Have you ever puzzled why the most mysterious MBTI personality, Sigma INFJ, seems to do better than narcissists in a wit war? Many people are interested in finding out the answer to this query. Why are Sigma INFJ so good at outwitting people who are usually thought of as crafty and manipulative? Is it their natural sense of intuition, their cunning, or maybe their enigmatic aura? You're going to find out soon though. Join us as we examine the 10 strategies Sigma INFJ can use to outlive narcissists. First of all, narcissists frequently present fake personalities, which Sigma INFJ have the amazing ability to see through. Let's delve a little further now. As you can see, Sigma INFJ are naturally intuitive. They are skilled at interpreting silences and reading between the lines. They are able to see behind the facade that narcissists frequently put up because to their natural intuition. Sigma INFJ is able to see the person beneath the mask, whereas others may be seduced by the charm or ostentatious persona. They are aware that the narcissist's true motivations are hidden behind this character, which is only a smokescreen. And this offers them a distinct viewpoint. They are able to forecast behaviors and reactions and above all, recognize the narcissist for the real person that they are, not for the facade. In the contest of cunning, Sigma INFJ has an early advantage thanks to their capacity to recognize fraudulent personalities. Second, Sigma INFJ anticipates narcissists' methods of manipulation. It's similar to playing chess with the complex web of interpersonal relationships serving as the game board. Because of their exceptional analytical abilities, Sigma INFJ is able to predict potential narcissistic behaviors. Consider a narcissist as a puppeteer who manipulates events by pulling strings. Imagine the Sigma INFJ as someone who has the ability to perceive those strings and, more significantly, understands when they are going to be pulled. How does one go about doing this? It all comes down to pattern recognition. Despite their arrogance, narcissists are frequently clumsy manipulators. They can pretend to be innocent while quietly sowing doubts, or they might employ gaslighting, a tactic to cause you to doubt reality. Due to their acute perception, Sigma INFJ can see these methods for what they are and adjust their preparation accordingly. Sigma INFJ lessen the influence narcissists have over them by staying one step ahead of them. The impact of manipulative practices used by narcissists is lessened when one anticipates their use. Thirdly, Sigma INFJ excels at developing long-term plans of action. They can sense a narcissist's next action well in advance thanks to their acute intuition. They keep one step ahead of the game by carefully observing, analyzing, and planning their next move. They don't hurry, they are patient. They know that the contest of cunning is a marathon rather than a sprint. They are proactive rather than merely reactive, constantly keeping the broad picture and the desired outcome in mind. With their special combination of insight and foresight, Sigma INFJ can create plans that are both adaptable and strong. They prepare for every possibility by making backup plans. They flourish rather than just get by. They flip the script on the narcissists, employing their own strategies against them in a way that is more nuanced, morally sound, and ultimately more successful. These long-term tactics guarantee Sigma INFJ's resilience against narcissists' attempts to exert control. Fourthly, Sigma INFJ has the charisma to outplay narcissists at their own game. Here, however, we are not discussing flimsy charm the kind that ages quickly in the harsh light of day. We are discussing the profound, sincere charisma that Sigma INFJ is well known for. This is the allure that arises from a position of understanding, empathy, and compassion. Even the hardest-bitten narcissist finds it impossible to resist its an irresistible force. This charm is a potent weapon that Sigma INFJ use to disarm narcissists, undermine their barriers, and soften their opposition to reason. It's like a whisper gentle and convincing that quiets the narcissist's inner tempest. But this is not to be confused with manipulation. Genuine charm is used by Sigma INFJ to connect, not to control. And in a contest of cunning with narcissists, it's precisely this genuine attractiveness that gives them the upper hand. Narcissists are often left confused and unsteady by this charm attack. Fifth, narcissists can be deceitfully provoked by Sigma INFJ to expose their really selves. Let's be clear about one thing we are not discussing open conflict here. Sigma INFJ is just too intelligent for that. They are able to subtly entice the narcissist, much like a cat can entice a mouse to come out of its hole. 
they could ask a question that casts doubt on the narcissist's sense of significance, or they might say something that gently undermines the narcissist's exaggerated perception of themselves. The secret is to agitate the narcissist so slowly that, by the time they know it, it's too late. Like in a game of chess, the Sigma INFJ is always two steps ahead, deducing the narcissist's next move and skillfully opposing it. Furthermore, the narcissist's credibility suffers when their actual nature is exposed. People recognize them for what they really are, which is conceited, cunning, and empathetically deficient. Narcissists who employ this strategy frequently lose face and credibility. Sixth, Sigma INFJ deliberately makes friends with the adversaries of narcissists. Now, this may sound like a storyline from a political thriller, but Sigma INFJ uses this as a useful tactic. They are aware of the influence alliances can have, particularly when interacting with narcissists. Instead of assembling an army for a fight, the goal here is to build a network of allies that will lessen the narcissist's power. Sigma INFJ people are good at forming relationships and are naturally sympathetic. They are able to relate to others who have been harmed by the narcissist and provide comfort and understanding. This gives people who felt alone a sense of community while simultaneously undermining the narcissist's position. Furthermore, the narcissist's strategies are frequently made more clear by these partnerships, providing the Sigma INFJ with more knowledge. It's a calculated action that accomplishes several goals, including intelligence collection and emotional support. That, my friends, is the power of strategic friendship It helps Sigma INFJ further isolate narcissists. Seventhly, Sigma INFJ quietly damage the reputation of narcissists. Despite their innate empathy, Sigma INFJ are keen observers who have no trouble identifying the shortcomings of narcissists. They have a talent for gently drawing attention to these flaws and encounters in conversations, but they don't go around spreading bad rumors. Imagine a narcissist gloating over their impressive accomplishments. Oh, that's interesting, but didn't you mention last week that you were struggling with that project is all that a Sigma INFJ might say in response. This is a subtle prod rather than an outright assault that may cause others to doubt the narcissist's social legitimacy. By using their knowledge of human behavior, Sigma INFJ can steer the discussion in a way that highlights the contradictions and inconsistencies of the narcissist. They only need to make a few thoughtful remarks here and there, that's all. This strategy weakens the narcissist's foundation of power. Eighthly, narcissists' verbal traps and mind games can be imaginatively avoided by Sigma INFJ members. These people are particularly good at a mental game of cat and mouse where they avoid the traps set by the narcissists. They skillfully navigate around the traps weaved into talks like a dancer on a stage, almost as if they have a sixth sense for them. Envision a chess match in which each move matters. Sigma INFJ is planning multiple movements ahead of themselves, not just the next one. They are aware of the strategies and patterns that narcissists employ in their linguistic games. They are able to detect the subtle insults, loaded questions, and concealed traps, and they know exactly how to react to stay out of trouble. Because of their high intelligence and intuition, Sigma INFJ can maintain the conversation on their terms and avoid falling for any bait that a narcissist would put out there. This skill allows Sigma INFJ to stay one step ahead of the competition. Finally, Sigma INFJ refrains from bolstering the egos of narcissists. You see, attention and validation feed the narcissistic person's exaggerated sense of self-worth. However, a Sigma INFJ is well aware of this yearning due to their special combination of independence and awareness. They deliberately choose not to satisfy this urge. You might wonder how. By remaining silent in the face of their haughty tales, refusing to acknowledge their inflated accomplishments, and refusing to provide credence to their sense of superiority. Sigma INFJ is aware that they can control narcissists by doing this action. In effect, they are depriving the narcissist of the food required to feed their bloated ego. It's a subtle strategy that works surprisingly well. The narcissist is disarmed by this deft use of non-engagement, depriving them of their typical source of attention and validation. This strategy aids in controlling the inflated egos of narcissists. Finally, Sigma INFJ records the actions of narcissists in order to expose them. Now, this is not to say that they are constantly carrying around a notepad and pen and taking notes on everything. It's more about being aware of the narcissist's genuine character and mentally preserving important behaviors or patterns. With the help of their acute perception, Sigma INFJ is able to piece together these recorded behaviors over time to form a logical story about the narcissist's actions. 
This isn't done out of ill will or hatred, but rather a desire for clarification and understanding. Since Sigma INFJ are truth seekers at heart, they employ this strategy to expose the narcissist's intricate network of lies. When the Sigma INFJ needs to authenticate their experience to others or even to themselves, this documentation can be a very useful tool. This tactic may ultimately be the last straw that reveals the narcissist's true nature.